Hello, I'm Justin Voss for Blue Demon, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Blue Demon True View Pano welding helmet. This is the True View Pano from Blue Demon, offering a massive 180 degree field of view and one to one to one to one optical clarity. What does that mean? Auto darkening cartridges are put through a series of four tests. The first test basically checks to see how much the lens distorts what you're seeing. The second checks for impurities of the actual lens. And the third checks the variance of shade across the lens. The fourth checks for shade variations when looking through the lens at an angle, like often how you're welding. All four categories are given a score from one for the best to three for the worst, meaning the Blue Demon True View Pano received the highest possible score in all four of these categories. The Pano helmet has a very fast auto darkening response time and does this across all three lenses with the help of five individual sensors. The main lens auto darkens anywhere in the range of four to 14 with a grind mode that has a shade of three, making it great for a broad use of applications from grinding to plasma cutting, MIG welding, TIG welding, and stick welding. The helmet also has easy to use digital controls. There's a mode button for switching between welding, cutting, and grinding, as well as an easy access button on the outside so you don't have to flip up your hood to switch between welding and grinding mode and then back again. On the controls, there are dedicated buttons to adjust the shade, sensitivity, and delay of the helmet, and any of these three can be put into automatic adjustment. The helmet ships with two replacement front covers and a complete set of the three inside replacement covers. The outside cover is held in place by one of these clips on each side of the lens, and you can remove those clips just by releasing this little holding pin on the inside of each one of the clips, popping off the outside cover really easily. The inside covers just have four little tabs on each one of the corners of each lens that you can easily just lift up with the little groove they provide and pop them out and replace them with the new ones and be back to have a crystal clear display. The battery compartment is located directly over the main lens holding two CR2032 batteries you can remove each of these batteries just by popping off this little cover right above them. And uh, if you don't have a pen or something to slide them out, there's actually a little tool included right on the back of the cover that you can pop out and push each one of these batteries right out. Now, since not everyone was blessed with a perfect head like me, the head strap has plenty of adjustability all over it. You can adjust the tightness like most of you are probably familiar with, just by turning the dial on the back, that's gonna be your main adjustment once you get all these other things set to what's comfortable for you. And then the strap has a ton of holes located about every quarter of an inch all the way across on this strap. So all you do is pop that one loose, slide it to where you want it, snap it back in, and you're good until you find what is comfortable for you. The front one right above the forehead strap adjusts the same way. And then the actual forehead strap that is padded, you can either try to adjust it while the padding is still on there or there's a set of holes too that move the same way on each side that are going to adjust the forehead fit. The side is adjusted by pushing this little yellow button and then you can slide it forward and back to get the distance to your face set to how you want it. I have mine put right in the middle, so I'm going to leave it there. And then there is also another adjustment that mine is also set right in the middle. This one you pull down on this little greenish yellow clip here, and then you can adjust how far the front stop and the back stop is of how far it's gonna flip down and how far it flips up. Now let's get back to those three true view displays that give this helmet its name. As I set up to weld these two pieces of steel, you can see in 180 degrees in true to life colors. As we strike an arc, all three panels seem to instantly darken to our desired shade. As we start welding and the lenses darken, you can see that you do not lose 
that great color display. You can clearly see what we are doing, even the color of the puddle forming as we weld along. The view is so clear, we can see our heat signature forming, we can see any impurities in the metal easily. The best part, as soon as our gas stops flowing, we can see exactly what our weld looks like before we even flip up our hood. And that's it. Thanks for checking out this overview of the Pano True View welding helmet from Blue Demon. If you like this video, it would be great if you gave it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting the Blue Demon YouTube channel, I hope you subscribe and stay a while. Anyway, I'm Justin Voss for Blue Demon, and we'll see you next time.